well hello there welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to explore the concept of what we call as http mqtt bridge and why it is used and why it is kind of important typically in terms of uh, iot so when you're dealing with iot there are two types of communication that generally happens one is from device to the cloud and then it's from cloud to the device now the first part is from device to the cloud that is pretty much straightforward as you have to deal with like probably some rest api calls because the cloud is essentially it's just a server that is hosted on an ip and that public ip is easily accessible through your device either uh, like multiple protocols either through tcp ip through web sockets through rest api calls multiple options are there available but the problem arises when you are trying to send a data from the cloud back to a device. Now you may argue and say that once you send the data to the cloud, I might just wait for its response. But let's say there are a whole lot of business processes that is happening at the back end. Then your API might just time out and your device might not even know whether the operation was completed successfully or not. Additionally, Let's say if your device uh, needs to be triggered for some reason or the other from the cloud, then how will the cloud communicate back? Because the simple reason is that your cloud has a fixed public IP address, but your device might not have it. The most of the scenarios as of today, uh, devices have a dynamic IP address, which is what they obtained when they connect to Wi-Fi network or they get connectivity to the internet via cellular data or via LoRaWAN or something of that sort. So sending a data from the cloud back to a device is a challenging task. However, most of the modern day cloud computing platforms like Azure, AWS, they do contain uh, IoT suite. Uh, for example, in Azure, it is called Azure IoT Hub. In AWS, it's called AWS IoT Core. So they're natively, they support bindings for performing both cloud to device as well as device to cloud communication. But if you have to develop some APIs or business logics and you are not using any of these natively supported features, or let's say if you're using a completely different platform altogether, like just like hosting a virtual machine and deploying your uh, APIs out there, then the problem might arise. So in order to tackle that kind of situation, um, let's have a look into the PubSub model. I'm not gonna go detailed into MQTT as that's not the scope of this video. I'll share another video for it. But overall is that in a PubSub model, your device is always connected to a broker, to a message broker through topics. So your device is publishing data to a different topic and device is subscribed to a different topic. So if somebody publishes a message to the same broker in that same topic, which your device is subscribed to, the device will get that data. Now, my APIs are written in REST, I mean, this just support REST API calls, but my devices don't support that, or devices are simply uh, relying on MQTT to communicate. Now, what happens is that you need to have some kind of a bridge or some kind of a script in between which will take in the communication from the device through MQTT and pass it to the web server uh, to HTTP. So it's like getting a data using MQTT from the device. It is device to cloud communication, cloud to cloud communication using HTTP REST API calls. And then once the business process has been completed, you get a response back from your, uh, from your server that comes to the bridge. The bridge then converts that data, I mean that protocol from HTTP to MQTT and then it sends it back to our device. That's how the device can communicate. That's one process. The second way is, let's say you're, you have a message MQTT broker and uh, your device is sending messages to the broker. Your bridge gets triggered since it is already subscribed to and your bridge triggers another REST API service and your REST API then sends the data directly to that, I mean, publishes a message directly to that topic. And that's how uh, the device, which is already subscribed to the topic, will get that data. So there are two ways how this can be done. 
Now this is a very conceptualized video, like not much coding is involved, but I will definitely show you an implementation of uh, in Python about how it was done, like at least device to cloud messaging and getting the response back to the device. Now this kind of concept is quite useful in multiple scenarios where you don't have the luxury to depend on uh, native uh, native IoT components of the cloud service providers. So in those cases, it is quite useful. And this topic, is, I mean, this particular topic may not be of that much use as of now. But once we are up in the video series that will be coming up in a couple of weeks, uh, where we cover some projects real time, in those cases, these concepts will be much more clear. Uh, I already have a video on Python and Impurity. So if you have not seen that video, I'll provide a link of the same in the description below. Let me just, just zoom out a bit. On the left hand side, I have the bridge code. On the right hand side, I have a server code. So this server code essentially does nothing. It just gets a data through a post method and it simply returns the same data. While on the bridge side, I have defined all the parameters that are required. That is the MQTT subtopic. That is a topic that this bridge is subscribed to. Next, I have the edge device send topic where I'll be receiving messages from the device. Then I have the edge device receive topic base. So this is a base topic string that is used to send messages back to the device. I'll show you how I have implemented it, the server URL and the headers for the same. I define different methods for connectivity, for subscription, for disconnect. And the most important method out here is the on underscore message. Uh, which is a callback method and this gets triggered whenever there is an incoming message in a particular topic that this code base is subscribed to. So once I receive the topic, I'm simply converting that to a JSON data and the topic I'm saving it in a variable. Um, so my topic, whenever this topic is equals to MQTT slash of roof 171 slash edge device, AKA uh, the edge device send topic. I don't know why I've used a string. I should have simply used a variable. Anyways, so when the topic is equivalent to that, I am just simply extracting the information, whatever is there, and I am triggering a response. Like a post uh, post request, I am triggering it from this particular code base to our server. And the server essentially sends a response back, which is essentially this particular uh, variable. And what I'm doing is that I am publishing the response that I'm getting from the server back to the device which is subscribed to. So whatever response I'm getting from the server, from that I'm extracting the device ID. Then I'm appending the device ID to my base topic class, which is this. So if my device ID is one, so the ultimate topic name will be MQTT slash every one seven one slash one. So that is how it will function and it will simply publish the data using MQTT protocol. Nothing else, it's pretty simple explanation. So this represents that whenever a device is posting something to the cloud through MQTT, this bridge acts as a medium in between uh, for, for the message to pass through the cloud. This particular bridge will wait for the response from the cloud and then the cloud will send the response back to the device through this bridge using MQTT. That's the whole concept that I'm trying to explain. And this is a much more useful uh, moving in the future uh, videos where we do some projects. So in order to test this code, firstly, I need to switch on the server, which I think is already running. Yes. And I am using a popular uh, MQTT client tool, which is called as MQTT box. It's freely available. So what I've done is that I have added a subscription of MQTT slash approve one seven one slash my device ID. So the device ID is triple one two three. I have subscribed to this topic. Now, when I run this piece of code, that is Python, uh, sorry, code dot pi. So what the flow will happen is that I will publish a message to this topic. This this particular message will go to this code.py 
which will act as a bridge it will trigger the server.py which will act as a uh, as an end api the server.py will send a response back to code.py as an http api response and this code.py will simply publish that message that it has received from server to the device using mqtt so this is my end topic and this is my published topic so uh, i'm going to resubscribe here so what i'll do is that i'll simply publish the message over here and once i click on the publish button then everything uh, then the process will get started so let me just click publish and you see we have received a response back so this response is not coming from this script but it's coming from a combined operation of this particular client sending data to core core sending data to server and server sending the data back to core as a response and core sending data back to the device and the thing to note here is like this kind of things might seem a bit too abstract as of now but if you face a similar situation where you don't really have any native way of implementing it in the cloud then you might need to adopt some ways of this routing and bridging concept to get your stuff done because not always iot is all about like iot is not always about simply relying on ready-made solution sometimes you just need to build your own solution and that's the whole point how you design these concepts or how you utilize these concepts to design your own solution i hope like some concept has been clear through this video um this this was a very short video and it was more of a conceptual video in the future weeks when we do a project that series will be starting very soon like i've already started recording some videos of it but once all the videos are recorded i'll be starting to roll out uh, those videos so once you get an idea about the concept i mean about the project then you'll have much more clarity on these uh, concepts that i'm discussing today that's all for today see you in the next video till then have a good day and please do subscribe to my channel do share my videos please provide feedback in the form of comments and if you like this video please hit the like button and press the bell icon to get more notifications i upload videos on every uh, mondays and thursdays the timing might be different depending upon my work timings and thank you again have a good day Bye bye